Hi, my name is Carrie. You might know me as K Warning or from my shop, 8 Stitch. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm not gonna lie to you and say, oh my goodness, a bunch of people were asking me if I would do this. No, it was one person. One person mentioned, hey, would you ever consider doing a floss tube? So here I am, I considered it. It just took one person to ask. <laughs> and since my, um, acronym video, I've gotten a little bit of heat in my discord for having 12 whips, which I mean, I guess I understand 12 is a lot. So I figured I would take a moment to show you my whips, my current whips. I think my biggest fear about doing a floss tube is that one, I've either got the format wrong, I'm going to be doing it completely wrong and people are going to call me out on doing it wrong or that it's just not going to stay relevant. Because if you're watching this video a year from now, these aren't my current whips. But if you like this, please hit the like button down below. If you don't, don't be afraid to hit the dislike button. It'll give me a good idea on if you guys enjoy content like this or if you want me to stick to the tutorials. I'm happy to do both. So I'm going to start with my biggest whip and the whip I've been working on the longest. This is my happy little stitch along. I started this in November of 2017. Um, it had 30 pieces to this stitch along and I released one piece at a time. I'll insert a, an image of what the finished piece will look like. I'm probably not gonna do this with every whip that I show just because not all of these whips were created by me, but I will link to where you can find all of these pieces. I guess it's okay if I show the finished piece if I'm linking and I'm telling you who the pattern designer was. I don't know, I'm so new to this. I was hoping to have this done months ago. So the last piece of this stitch along released in July 2020 and I was like, oh, I'll have it done by the end of August. It's October now. So I'll finish it eventually. This is the last portion I have to do and I'm doing a combination of parking and cross country. I guess I should mention this is stitched on 25 count and it's stitched on pre-gridded Ada. For a full coverage piece, I can't recommend pre-gridded Ada enough. It's been amazing. But yeah, happy little stitch along designed by me. My next whip is um, the happy little stitch along bonus pattern. So this is another pattern that was created by me as a bonus pattern for anybody who participated in the happy little stitch along. I actually jar dyed this Ada myself. Um, it's going to look like this when it's finished. So I thought it would be fun to hand dye the Ada as an example of there are no mistakes, just happy little accidents, just like in my hand dyed Ada. This is stitched on 18 count and I'm actually really enjoying this, but for some reason I don't pick it up very often. I love the colors that I've chosen. Yeah, it's just not getting a lot of love from me. I maybe need to spend some time on it. My next whip is another one created by me. I haven't really gotten a lot of done with this. So I'm gonna preface this with, I started a lot of these pieces in 20, oh my goodness, 2018, May of 2018, during what we call Stitch Mania. What is Stitch Mania? It is where you um, start a project each day in the month of May. Or some people have just picked up a different piece each day in the month of May if you already have something you're working on. I don't recommend it. This is how I ended up in this terrible place. So this one is also created by me. I haven't gotten a lot done on it. Um, just the one day that I worked on it during May of 2018. It is a quote from one of my favorite podcasts, My Favorite Murder. Um, it was from a Q&A session where Georgia and Karen were asked to um, like say a, like a life tip, I think in like so many words. And Karen said, Oh, I'm going to have to look up my pattern to see what it exactly says. Eek, I can't find it. It says something about like do all things with love and don't be a dick or something like that. Um, I'm going to have to find it on my computer and insert a picture here. Hopefully I can find it. Hopefully this doesn't become a UFO because I can't find the pattern that I created in 2018. It's been so long since I've touched this. I don't know where I put it. Oh, that's terrifying. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh. My next whip is the Memento Mori Stitch Along by Freudian Stitch. I am just a quarter of the way, so close to being done with this section here. And then I have one more section and then I'm complete on this. Why did I walk away from this? Look at how cool it is. And my favorite part of this was the Leonardo da Vinci piece. I loved figuring out the back stitching for that and 
geometrically like what stitches I wanted to put on top of each other to create like a 3D look and I really like how it turned out. I think it's so pretty. Why? Why, did, why have I walked away from all of these? I don't know. Maybe bringing all of these out will be a good thing for me and I'll be motivated to finish them. My next whip is the Universal Monsters Stitch Along by The Witchy Stitcher and I purchased this beautiful hand dyed Ada by Bee Stitch Me. So I f finished all of the monsters during um, Spooky June, um, which was June of this year, 2020. The only thing I have to finish now is the border on top and the border on bottom. Ignore this little coffee stain that I did right here. It's going to be covered up by the bottom. I can't believe I did that. My next whip is We're All Mad Here by Magic Stitching. It's on some beautiful dyed opalescent Ada that I created from, I believe, 28 count opalescent is what it looks like. I don't know which way is up. I don't know if this is up or this is up. And I'm also stitching this with some purple variegated thread. What is that so far? One, two, three, four, five, six so far. So we're, ha theoretically, we're halfway through. Let's see if I've got more whips now than I thought I did. My next whip is a little turret from Portal. I did not get a lot of this done. Again, I was doing this during Stitch Mania, so I just had to, to start it to count. Um, this was created as a gift for me by a friend of mine named Petite Mushroom. I think it's super cute. I can't wait to finish this. This is another one that was gifted to me by my friend Petite Mushroom. I apologize that I'm not showing pictures of what these are gonna look like afterwards, um, but since she gifted to me, they are literally just the pattern. There's no preview image, so I don't wanna put her pattern on the screen. But if you guys enjoy these floss tube videos, when I finish these, I will of course show these finished pieces. And I did not hand dye this Ada myself, but it was a hand dyed Ada that I got from an LNS in my friend's hometown in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Isn't it beautiful? The letter E. <laughs> this is another um, pattern by Freudian Stitch. It's a Gilmore Girls quote. Her patterns are so cute. Why did I put this down? I don't know. So much progress. Ooh, we have another one by Freudian Stitch. You can tell I love her patterns. Again, not very much done on this one. I just had to start it. That's all I had to do. I believe I got this Ada from the Scrap Exchange here in North Carolina. It's this really cool crafty warehouse where people donate their scraps. And that includes scraps of Ada. Oh man, I miss the Scrap Exchange. I haven't been there since, you know, the pandemic. Ooh, the next one I actually have a lot of progress on because this is something I started just recently that has been taking precedence over my Stitch Mania whips. This is a pattern by The Witchy Stitcher. I'm stitching it on 28 count over two, so it makes it 14 count, which I really like because it looks super vintage. And I plan to do this one twice, so I guess we'll count this as two whips because I'm probably gonna start on this piece today. I think that's everything. I guess I should show this one because at the time of my acronym video, this was a whip, but I did finish it a few days ago. This is a pattern by Paper Crane Stitches. I stitched this on some jarred dieta that I created myself. Finished, not a whip anymore. So um, let me count how many whips I have as of today. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I still have 12. <laughs> I still have 12. What happened was I finished one and I started two. Isn't that the way it always goes? There you go. There are my whips. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It'll be so helpful for me to see if this is something you want me to continue. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video and until next time, happy stitching. Ooh, I have this one saved in some um, ribbon that I know I'm going to be sewing to the ends of it. Very nice and full. Oh, I didn't even start this one. I don't know if this even counts as a whip. We're going to put this away. This doesn't count. I haven't started it. I just cut the Ada. Edit that out. Not a whip. Not a whip.